Hi there, I'm Kathy from Software Solutions, and you're looking at one of the videos that go with my Excel Level 2 functions, charts, and more. What I want to look at in this video is linking between sheets. Um, we've learned in previous videos that there is no limit to the number of sheets that you can have in an Excel workbook. And as a consequence, you will start writing formulas where you want to pull information from other sheets and or other files into a sheet. So I want to go down that road. First of all, I'm going to start with the Excel 2 file that comes with your courseware. I'm going to go to the link sheet and I'm just holding the control key and wheeling forward just to zoom in. First thing I want to do is create just a basic link. If I press the equals key, I could link to a cell in this sheet just by clicking it. But if I want to link to a cell in another sheet, then I just use my mouse to go forward and maybe go to sheet 1 and maybe click on B3. And as I do it, look at your formula bar because it's starting to put a formula together. Once I click B3 and press enter, that number is pulled into this sheet. So I see the number 100 and if I was to double click, I can see the formula. And the formula basically says this is equal to sheet 1 exclamation mark B3. The exclamation mark says that this cell is in another sheet. And to the left of the exclamation mark is the name of the sheet, and to the right of the exclamation mark is the name of the cell. Because there's really nothing to stop you from naming a sheet B3. So how will it know the difference? The exclamation mark. And I'm just going to press escape. So that's linking to a single cell. But what if we want to link to two cells added together? In this cell B5, I'll go equals sheet 1 B3 plus sheet 2 B3. And again, my formula bar is constructing a formula. When I press enter, that is when I'm taken back to where I came from. And so I see the answer 300. If I double click it, this is sheet 1's B3 plus sheet 2's B3. If the value in sheet 1 or sheet 2's B3 should change, this will automatically update. And I'll press escape. Let's try a sum in B7 equals SU, just like we always do. Double click sum, but typically we would now select a range of cells in this sheet. Not this time. We're going to go further afield to sheet 1, and we're going to select a range of cells in here. And we'll press enter. And so that is the sum of sheet 1's B3 to B7. Let's just do that again. I'm going to delete that. Equals SU. Double click sum. Let's go to sheet 1 and select that range again. Then I'm going to go comma. And I'll go to sheet 2 and select this range. Comma. And then I'll go to sheet 3 and I'll select this range. So I've summed up three ranges in three separate sheets and I press enter and it takes me back to where I came from. You could type the formula but it's much easier to let your mouse do the walking and to select the cells and let it do all the syntax as far as how to refer to the sheet and how to refer to the cells. Let's do another example. I'm going to take you to the sheet called summary. I'll just hold the control key and wheel in. What I'm wanting to do, and I might actually name these sheets accordingly, this sheet 1 is actually region 1, and I'll put a space in the name of the sheet. This one's region 2. And thirdly, region 3. So in this summary sheet, I've now been put in charge of regions 1, 2, and 3, and I want an overview of the sales that those three regions have made for January. So. In B4, I'm going to go equals SEO and double click sum. My first number is in region 1, B3. And then I press comma, because notice there's a comma between number 1 and number 2. So you press comma so it holds it and lets you run off and choose another sheet. Run off to region 2 and select its B3, which is its January's figure. Comma, go to region 3 and choose its January figure. Done. Enter. 
So now if I double click, I've got region 1's B3 and region 2's B3 and region 3's B3. Notice the name of the sheet is on the left of the exclamation mark and because there's a space in the name of the sheet, it puts single quotes or single rabbit ears around the name of the sheet. So if there's a space in the sheet name, these will appear and if there isn't, they won't appear. That is why it's so much easier to just let your mouse do the walking so that it does all the correct syntax. I'll press escape. I can now just double click to fill that down and it works out the February, March, April and May figures for the three regions. Now to do the average, the max and the min, I'm actually going to just apply some dollars. So I'm going to double click this first formula. I'm going to lock in, click B3, I'm going to lock in just the B. So I press F4, 1, 2, 3. Click on this one, F4, 1, 2, 3. Click on this one, press F4, 1, 2, 3. Use the function key F4, which we've discussed in earlier videos, is how you lock in. And I only want to lock the B. I don't want to lock the 3 because when I fill this formula to the right, I don't want the B to change to C, D, and E. I want it to stay as B. But I don't want to lock the 3 because when I fill the formula down, I want it to go 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm going to press Enter. I will then double click and fill it down. Still got the same results. I'll then drag it to the right. I'll then double click this one and I'll change sum, double click, A, B, average. I'll double click this one, double click sum, M, max. I'll double click this one, double click the sum, M, min. Enter. Select all three of them, double click and fill them down. Boom. If I show you the formulas, let me just wheel back, control wheel back and go to formulas, show formulas, and you can see there the sum of the selected regions, the average of the selected regions, the max, and the min. And then I'll just go undo, 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 and switch off my show formulas. So it's really easy to link between sheets. It looks complicated when you read the formula, but they probably didn't type it. They probably used their mouse. It just looks complicated. It isn't actually physically complicated. I hope you've liked this video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video where we will get right into conditional formatting. Kakite.